Hello there. And welcome. Um, today Richard is going to play Remothered Tormented Fathers. That's which, I am. Uh, should be interesting, to say the least. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many buttons. <laughs> yeah, there Place is. Place diversion. What the hell does that mean? I assume it like, means like place... You know how I could place noisemakers in Alien? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's like that. Crouch. Like bottles in uh, Evil Within. Oh, yeah. Kind of like that, I, I assume. Aim or hold the door. How does one go about aiming a door? Hold the door? To slam it onto nasty... Oh. What Sorry. No, it is a lie. Oh, God. Mm. What kind of voice is that? Thick in the bone. Oh, it's Rose from the Titanic. The healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Why wouldn't you let Jack on the door? My memory is not <laughs> one of my strong points. Well, for What's example, that Maggie they call you Madam Spinska. Where's your apple? It's just a trace. <laughs> it is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? Why are you shaking around so much? The same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is Some only existential crisis shit, yeah. That we become the is this another old-timey game? <laughs> Let's Is this see, how we yes. do it? I take the games in the past and you take the ones in the future, yeah? <laughs> and so, Madam Spencer, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. it's warm. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Eh? Well, then, Please clearly, it wasn't something that important. Sometimes my memory <laughs> needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that... It starts hitting the booze. To so much <laughs> ...has labelled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe, that all this began. Then she plays some sort of satanic song and starts killing people. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I didn't know you were into Marilyn Manson and all. Cracky. <laughs> it is weird, though, that we keep picking games for you in the past. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it might not be, like, in the past. She might just have had a, like, phonograph knocking about because she's old. Ages. <laughs> I guess this looks, you know, tires are tire, isn't it? <laughs> it's tired, is that what you're saying? <laughs> they had tires like 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. But not that, like, big and chunky, really, I don't think. What about for tractors? Could have been bigger than that. I'll show you a chunky tire, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can have small tractors. Yeah, I suppose. Ah, uh, that's See, like 80s. That's her in the past, earliest. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like her. She looks less like Maggie Smith as a young person. She's still weirdly into like brooches and shit, though. Ah, oh, Italian. Saint Margherita, eh? That's one of the few words I know in Italian.
Why is there a van in like near enough every like horror game? Hey, it's a transit! High quality van. It appears the heavens have opened. Why is the fag pink? Um. Ah! That sort of stuff gets you every time, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the good word? Mario. <laughs> Feels like it's gonna rain again. Ah, uh, that's definitely a transit van. That. <laughs> I cannot do it now. Do it. <laughs> so yeah. Um. This is the first in a series of two games that we're going to play, both yeah. called Remothered. <laughs> this is the first one, and then next Richard's going to play the second one when it's released. Which is released on... Hold on, I'll look this up. The Some 20th. The 20th of yeah. October. Yeah. This year, which is 2020. <laughs> Thank you for reminding everybody what year it is. Oh, you know, it's been a mad one, hasn't it? Um, let's not let's not get into that. People don't need to be reminded. Yeah, that's true. What we Where will remind people to go? of. I don't know. I'm just gonna wonder. I think. What people do need to be reminded of is that this game came out on the 31st of October, 2017. Yep. And designed and written by, as we're shown in the opening credits, there, a chap called Chris Darrell. Are you just re reeling off like <laughs> wiki I wrote some, I wrote some notes down earlier. <laughs> you, you couldn't have just been like, yeah, we're playing this game. You know, here we go. Hmm. Had to oh, friggin study for an exam. Um, exactly. See you is. Cut here. Cut here. Don't tell me how to live. Sorry, cut here, cut there. Hmm. I could do with a haircut, actually. Wait. Cut here, cut there, cut everywhere. On the screen, October 31st, 1971. I mean, that looks a bit old, so I'm, I'm saying we're in, what, like, mid to... Maybe mid-70s, early 80s? Yeah. Although that looks like a new transit. What is it... This is that set in, like, the 70s, 80s. It's like... What is classed as a new transit at that point? But yeah, um, um, a new transit, I would say, would be anything after, I think it was 2011, where they like... Then why the would they have it there? <laughs> ah, there we go, that's better. Look at me go! I'm surprised you can even run in those. Isn't she wearing Sweet. heels? That's a big tyre. I mean, look at that shaped headlight, that's... Uh, that's not pre-1980, that. Oh, a swing. No. No swing physics. <laughs> Can I go on the slide? Is there a slide? This isn't... Is what do you think this is? Resident Evil 6? There is a... thingamajig. A thingamajig. A seesaw. That's the chap. Oh, creepy. <laughs> Wahoo! Stop! Don't tell me how to live. Right, let's go and see what's going on rather than uh, just pissing about. We are over a minute in, aren't we? We're like ten minutes in. Not this way. Okie doke. So it must be this way then. Why aren't I taking my van down here? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Um. Lost child, Celeste Felton. OK, 
Can I get back in the van? No, it said that you couldn't do it. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> He's about to tell you it's not that way either. Oh no, wait, there you go. That was promising. Oh god, is it one of these where they've got magical phone booths and stuff? We don't. We wouldn't know anything about magical phone booths, would we? Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> magical phone booths that apparently you can use to talk, but have no actual Receiver idea of a phone. Speaker. I can't believe after all that I was right and it was the uh, the old tin can method on a string, yes, essentially. Well, I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Someone? Hello? Gooey! Um... Oh, actually, before I, I mean, go there, let's see what's over there. That's that's called intruding. Kind of breaking and entering. What's over here? She's I'm intruded on. <laughs> it's still I'm an awful it joke. <laughs> it's still <laughs> awful. I'm going to run through some puddles before I make progress. Yippee! Oh, Yahoo! Nope, not that way. Look at those little <laughs> flaily arms. <laughs> Don't have enough energy. But yeah, we just gate behind me like I was never here. It's almost like we need a third person so that we have me playing the games for the future, you playing the games in the past, and somebody else playing the games of the present. <laughs> That's it. Oh, we can take it in turns for the time being. Yeah. <laughs> the present, you say? Don't make her. Oh. That's why they call it a pre the present. Sort of awful, awful like. Weird, like I don't. I don't even know what it is. You know what I mean? What? That whole that whole thing where they're like, the past is the past, the future is the future, and uh, tomorrow is uh, today is a gift, and that's why they call it the present. And it's like, oh, that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cheesy and crap, isn't it? And you just like, shut up, shut up now. Oh man, that's uh, that's not. I've I'd never heard that before. Really, I. I've heard it at least four times in the past week, and I'm just like, you deserve to have the life choked out of you and somebody watching the light drain from your eyes because you make everyone around you sick. Um, oh, shit, that got dark. Um, <laughs> you played a horror though? game. <laughs> We're playing a horror game. I mean, let's be fair, it's going to get dark Wait. anyway. What do you mean it's a horror game? I thought it was a walking simulator. You lied to me. I mean, that's pretty much what you've done for, like, the first half of this episode. <laughs> so, uh, look this up. Typical uh, typical gameplay is between, you know, five and seven hours. I reckon we can get it to 20. Hello? I think you can do it in 13. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm in your this garden. This is the gardener. Surely Hello? she could just break down the door with one of them parts. Or the ah, spade. You so. Or a spade, ah. I like how you one of these statues around. Hey, look, a lawnmower. Yeah, that looks uh, quite recent, a lawnmower. <laughs> well, let's have a look through here. I oh, love how this lovely. I love how our breathing doesn't slow down. It just stops abruptly. <laughs> like, if you but stop now. It's 
just stops. <laughs> there's no and slow. F- there's lo- there's no slow fading out. It's just <laughs> <laughs> kind of like them things that used to shake and the that you used to turn upside down and stuff. You know what I mean? I can't even remember <laughs> oh, what they were yeah. called. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you used to have them as cows Whoa. and stuff. And go <laughs> and <it's just laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. What are they called? Like, I have no I, idea. I thought they were like. I don't even know. The, you, you know the groaning sticks. The the groaning sticks. Yeah. Definitely anguishing. Right, you are. What's the old saying about not running upstairs? Hello. I'm here to see... In fact, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure why I'm here. I'm here to see someone that may or may not be a patient or a doctor. Yeah, they were called a... And I'm not joking here. Tubular groaning toy. (laughs) I was half right! (laughs) Yeah. And the cow ones are called, like... Uh, moo noisemakers. Tubular groaning toy. Yeah. That's a nice lighter. Yeah, but it makes every fag that she has pink. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Reed. Reed. You already told me at the intercom. And as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the center. I know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. It's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. She and looks I creepy as hell. Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. So. Then why is there an ashtray inside? With two fags in it. Oh, by the way, this might entertain you. You you know um, the football team, uh, Norwich City. Oh yeah, they they actually sell those um, groaning tubes as um, on their site. Okay, that's how much are they? Fifty p. Um, fifty p. I'll have twelve. <laughs> and they're bright pink. Why aren't they in you know yellow and green? That's the colour you'd expect them to be in. Yeah. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. So if you don't smoke, and Mr. Watts' chops don't smoke, then why were there two fags in your ashtray? I live near here. Mm -hmm. If you can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of them when I'm off. Yeah, they even sell big pencils. What, like those big novelty ones that you've got to use a knife to yeah. sharpen because they don't fit in <laughs> pencil sharpens? Yeah, they've got big pink ones. I don't know why they've got pink. No, that is weird. You'd, like, you'd imagine, you know, I can see football clubs doing that sort of thing, but you'd imagine it being team colours. Oh, no, there's a lot of stuff that's team colours. Like, they do have a jumbo pencil that's green and yellow. But, um... Might be second kit. Maybe. Away kit might be pink. I've not had a look at all the away kits and, well, all the new kits really for the new season. I don't know, I'm not that into football. I just find it hilarious that they sell these tubes for, as part of, like, uh, like just for the sake, for on a football, like, website. It just seems ridiculous. But we know where we can get a uh, tube, <laughs> tubular groaning toy. 50p. Although oh, the delivery charges are fiver. 
Oh, you know, you might as well uh, drive down to Norwich and pick it up for that, for that, aren't you? Uh, well, it's free delivery if you if you bought like a what? I want to say a hundred of them. Uh-huh. So if I buy I'd ten, I'd be spending a fiver. So it'd only be fifty quid to get a hundred. Yes. Pass them out to your friends. No. I've got a better idea. Tape them all together and then turn them over all at once. Mate, that's some end of the world shit there. <laughs> we can't be messing around with things like that. <laughs> you know, put a microphone <laughs> to them, record the whole thing, it'd be fantastic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, it's a little metronome, the, the little loading chappy. Did you basically say it'll be along in a minute and feel free to touch all his stuff? Uh, yeah, let, let's do that. Okie doke. I cannot do it now. Can't run, okie doke. Instead, we will twirl. Twirling, yeah, twirling yeah. towards victory. <laughs> yeah, because you can do it at some point. It's just a case of, like, um, not... Currently. The coronation of a virgin. Do you want to do all the uh, readings and not reading for alien? You said alien again. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I said. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that There's was no my problem. rendition of millennium. Um. <laughs> There's no problem at all with how I speak. I just like inserting random, uh, random consonants into words, okay? <laughs> In replace of other ones. In a... <laughs> <Egg. laughs> Alright, back to the serious note. <clears throat> oh, Coronation. serious note. <laughs> Sorry, please go on. I'll, I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> Coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and the light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm are descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. Ah, you I and mean, me both, love. I mean, <laughs> I, she's clearly seeing things that I don't see. I mean, that just looks like a painting of a woman just staring at the sky. Ah, we, uh, with some light knocking about. Yeah. That's like saying you see aliens in Jesus' Last Supper. Just doesn't make any sense. You're like, where the friggin' hell are you seeing this? Seriously. I mean, there might be. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's like that okay. guy. You, you, you must have heard about that. The guy who put um, took loads of pictures with his wife and photoshopped Skeletor in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's really? brilliant. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to find it and send it to you. It's fantastic. Skeletor. <laughs> yeah, he's just... He's basically... Um, what he does is he takes photos of his wife and then photoshops them with Skeletor in the background in random <laughs> p- poses in the background and stuff. And That's brilliant. <laughs> and they've, like, shared everything like that. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> right. No true painting, patron, entrepreneur, and even... Et- Entomologist, so I can't see it very well because it's case it was quite pixelated on my screen with a green uh, thumb, and that, that's it. So he, he likes bugs. Gotcha. Uh, uh, uh. Bugs. Bugs. Well, that's quite obviously Satan. <laughs> I mean, it could, of, you know, it could got just be a, could just be a goat man. Goat man. Goat man, you know, like that famous Prince of Darkness. Doing everything that goats can. Goat man. <laughs> And if it's anything like Goat Simulator, it'll ruin your day. Hey, sir. So, it's putting his hand out for hand check, isn't it? 
Oh, uh... Also, he doesn't have a dick. I thought statues from that era had dicks. Oh, he's got a fig leaf. Don't have any nipples, though. Why is that a nipple? Hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Just checking out some statues, you know. Because yeah. that's clearly what the game is completely about. Yep. Yes, it is. So... Right, not that. Ah! Ooh, what's all this malarkey? So, I am Rosemary Reed. Gotcha. Oh, cool. It keeps you up to date with what the, what the crack is there. Gloria. No tutorial for me. Or is this the tutorial? Um, go fish. Researcher, therapist from Saint Margarita Institute. Ooh. Is this actually some sort of disease that's like barely heard of, or is it just like a thing that they made up for the sake of the game? Um, that's a really high res picture. <laughs> um, that is a lot better than the thing that we saw. We did not see hands on that. No, uh, or at least I didn't. No, I didn't either. I cannot do it now. Right, okay, love. What's going off here? Can we have a look at this? Uh, Nope. Lamp. Lamp projector. Because Richard Cassidy. loves lamp. There's a. I do love lamp. There's, <laughs> there's an urn there. Cool. That. It's creeping it. Just a bit. So what a. Isn't I meant to interact with this chappy over here? Uh, chappy. Ah, uh, now I can do some robbing. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> now I can. Close this drawer. Puts everything away. Yeah. 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 Uh. Uh, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosso Gallo. Closes. Danger of contamination. Ah, it's a newspaper article. Ah, it closes. Why were in the Feltons indicted? Indicted? Indicted, I think it is. Indicted, yeah. I've only ever I've never seen that word written down, I've only ever heard it indicted. Yeah, that makes sense. For alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October second, nineteen seventy one. The Rosso Gallo farm. Pride of the Gallows. Closed due to suspected contamination. It's been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen. That could be the cause of severe parasitosis. Is Fiona. that a thing? Toxic pollen. Um, I guess it's possible. This just makes me question so many things. <laughs> Straight to Wikipedia. <laughs> right, let's have a look. The owner, Ariana Gallo. Her husband, the notary Richard Felton. Bottom right. Professor and company's partner Albert Elias Feynman are under investigation. The letter has been allegedly accused. Uh, the latter, sorry, has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who manage the building and supervise the harvesters. The harvesters. That doesn't sound suspicious. The sisters of the adjoining convent. I've not been to Harvest during a long time. <laughs> I think there's only a couple left in this neck of woods now. They shut quite a few down, didn't they? Among the reported know. symptoms are painful ulcers, vomited, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis, photosensitivity. 
Right, you are. Following um, the heavy in allegations. In very rare cases, explosive diarrhea. Um, <laughs> explosive explosiveness. <laughs> Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Shocked, Felton. he tells you. He personally funded me. It is worth noting that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. <laughs> Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as a location for product distribution, the activities cease. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children had been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. The authorities assumed that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Press A to see the other side. Dear Lord. Of the tape. You damn son of a bitch. See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would... He would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. Balls! What am I balls. saying? Balls! You never got balls! Oh, right, that were a mouthful. Of balls. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, now I can see the hands. Now it's zoomed in a bit. Yeah. Oh, ah. Uh... Do you believe in God, miss? Well, it would be too no. easy wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But... Pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. It's all right. We already raided your desk. Doctor Reed, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already no, met it's right. Gloria. Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference. <laughs> extremely hardworking. But back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the institute, Doctor Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the institute just a few months after you left. And you left because? Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a He few seems to jump a around words, a lot, doesn't he, they mentally? They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. It does. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs... Get out! Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea? <laughs> Leave. Or coffee? Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed. They have Maybe creepy, you. sinister yeah. murderers. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt. Creepy and sinister. And it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates, anoxyl? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me. When Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? 
Celestas never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? <sighs> a flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? I'd, I'd run off as well if I were here. call her Jennifer. No. <laughs> My daughter. It looks like the what Joker, really like an daughter? old the Joker, sort of like the decrepit one. I am not sure where you're trying to go, no, so that I won't tolerate. One. I don't have the strength for this now. I know you've been trying to forget her, but you're an old, feeble man. You don't have the strength anyway. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter, Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking are about? You and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending? Threatening toe? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Right. And on the next yeah, episode, like... we'll find out what the hell's going on. How do yeah, I we do will. It? How do you even sleep oh. at night? You use people's lives. Very well, actually. The pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Right, so, so. do you say that's all we've got time for today? Yeah, that is all we've got time for. When uh, when the cutscenes stop, so you yeah. can't seem to pause it in the middle of a cutscene. It, it does seem to be like a com like a compound version of cutscenes where it goes from one to the next, doesn't it? That is yeah. thick rain. <laughs> Only the thickest here in Italy. Gloria's off in rain. So, um, am I just being stupid, or um, can you? Are you following what's going on here? Um, pretty much. Right. Okay. It'll come to me then. Oh, she's gonna rob Key, isn't she? She's gonna rob him blind. Turn that key. Open that door. Quite old, Get on quite the like. floor. <laughs> She's wearing heels all quiet like. Yeah. Oh, lovely parquet floor in that. That door is thick. It is. Like, really couldn't thick. Bust, couldn't bust through that with an axe, could you? Well, you probably could after a few swings. Yeah. Yes. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using those. Oh, so it's kind of like made of scale with the, like, 
gramophone. Yeah. Oh, it's a tutorial. Yeah, let's end it here. Let's uh, continue this in a, in a few moments. I, yeah. I mean tomorrow. Um. So yeah, please subscribe. Watch the rest of our stuff. If you like the horror games, we've got Made of Scare, which uh, was our earlier stuff, and we've got Alien, which is <laughs> really lovely if you just want to hear me rage <laughs> continuously in various yeah. points. Nonsense, mate. I weren't here. It was a, a very calm and reserved playthrough, I think. I, I think it actually was. I could have been a <laughs> lot a lot worse with it. Um, so, it's like a smashing noise. You're all right, Dirk. What's happened? For a pad fruit window, pal. <laughs> <laughs> it would more likely just be me shouting <laughs> continuously, like, like continuous swear words for about 40 <laughs> minutes. Give and every an episode F. would yeah. be about would be about 41 <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> um, but yeah, as Dak said, uh, watch our other stuff. It's all pretty good. Um, I might be biased, but you know, give it a watch. You'll hopefully like it. And yeah, thank you. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.